ladies and gentlemen, it happened. It has happened. Uh, this is coming to us from Deadline.com. Moon Knight uh, has let us know that Oscar Isaac has been tapped to star in the Marvel and Disney Plus series. I feel like this is probably one of the more uh, sought after roles when it certainly was announced as a television series. I think the hype for uh, Moon Knight certainly has been there. Um, and I think people have been sitting on their hands as patiently as possible trying to see exactly uh, who was going to be cast as, as this role. There were even rumors of like Keanu Reeves being brought on board and things like that. But according to Deadline, Oscar Isaac is tapped to star in Marvel's Disney Plus series. Let's go ahead and break this down. It says, with his time in the Star Wars franchise coming to an end, Oscar Isaac sets his sights on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Deadline is hearing he is in negotiations to star as the title character in Moon Knight, the Marvel and Disney Plus series based on the comic book hero. Jeremy Slater, who developed and wrote Netflix's series adaption of The Umbrella Academy, has been tapped to develop and lead the writing team on the series for the streamer. I'm looking really, really forward to this, uh, Stuart, honestly. You know, when it comes to somebody like um, an Oscar Isaac, I think he's just a brilliant uh, just star, to be honest with you. I think one of the first movies I recall seeing Oscar Isaac in was Ex Machina if I'm not mistaken. And I feel like ever since I saw him in that movie, man, I've just been uh, really fond of just all his, all his work. Um, I believe he's also going to be in the upcoming Dune project that they're currently working on as well. So, I mean, I, you know, I don't necessarily know if it was the Star Wars franchise that certainly gave him all these amazing opportunities. I think he probably would have found these opportunities by himself. I mean, the guy is just that talented. Um, but I love seeing just his stock and his star rise uh, and the fact that Marvel was able to once again knock it out of the park with this casting choice. Uh, I think Oscar Isaac is as good as anybody to certainly pull off this role. Uh, and I, I'm really gl glad, if anything, that he's just in the MCU because uh, he's, he's so incredibly talented. And I'm so glad that Marvel was able to to lock him down uh, i can't really say it's a surprise this honestly feels like the safest bet for uh marvel uh so that this totally i like the moment i uh, saw this uh headline i'm like nope that makes a lot of sense uh so yeah no i think it's gonna be great i i don't think i've seen oscar isaac in anything i didn't like him in particular in particular like even x-men apocalypse while i wasn't a big fan of that movie overall i did think that he did his job decent as the uh, apocalypse um so yeah i think this was a very smart decision and a very very uh i i know this is a word that people a lot of times use especially with the marvel movies but definitely a very calculated decision as well <laughs> mm. uh but yeah and i do love that they got the uh writers for the uh, umbrella academy to write the show like that was probably the biggest shocker of all um so i am kind of curious of uh of like how cause I know I know that shows a lot more mature than other superhero shows. Uh, I haven't had a chance to actually watch it all the way through yet, but I will eventually, probably next month. Uh, but I do. So it is kind of interesting that they got some people that worked on like a more adult oriented uh, superhero show and they're getting them to write a Disney plus superhero show. So it'll be uh, interesting to see uh, if, if the writing is similar or if they have to completely change up their style in order to make it uh, Disney plus appropriate. Honestly, so I I'm really eager to see just what this collaboration with actor and writers is certainly going to turn out to be. Uh, but this is definitely one of those um one of those announcements that I, I'm super pumped for just because I'm such a big fan of Oscar Isaac. And if you guys haven't had the opportunity to check him out in certain things, please go ahead and, and check him out in some of his movies. Because you're right, Stuart, even if he is in movies that maybe not necessarily the strongest, um, he's never like the weak link of that film at all. Like any material that you give this guy, he'll definitely raise the bar on it and do a fantastic job. Um, I, I can't remember what... Uh, the Frontier or Third Frontier. There was a, a Netflix... Um, Netflix movie Oscar Isaac was in just recently and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but uh, if you guys get the opportunity to check it out it is on Netflix but look up some Oscar Isaac films because I do think that he's going to knock this uh, this particular role out of the park I think this is a great casting choice. I did really enjoy him in uh, Ex Machina, and I thought it was hilarious that both him and the uh, other character from that movie ended up being in Star Wars The uh, Force Awakens. Who was the other one from there? 
Oh, oh, wasn't that the dude that um, played General Lux? Yes, that's yeah. right. Uh, Domin- <laughs> I can't remember his name, but I, I know exactly who you're talking about, the redheaded guy. Uh, that's mm-hmm. right. He wasn't he was in there also. <laughs> Good call, Stuart. Uh, we want to know your thoughts. What do you think of Oscar Isaac being tapped as Moon Knight? Are you excited for this series? What do you think of him as an actor? Do you think it's great casting? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section box below or the live chat, ladies and gentlemen.